let's take a look at something uber cool. Uh, my entire life, every time I found something, it was just like awesome, awesome. And uh, on top of that, really, really cheap, meaning great value. I've always gone around telling everybody. I want to show you, uh, I've uh, had this guy's bags now for well over six years. One of the first ones I had was this one. Well, this one's not appropriate for photography because of its dimensions. It's made out of water buffalo. And, uh, but I've uh, I even got the date stamped on here where I actually uh, tooled the leather and put my name in there. I'll never break this thing in. Water buffalo is, and it's, it's like breaking in granite. This is, this stuff is really, really tough. What if I said, you know, some of the Una bags, like the Prince Street bags are $400. Yeah, they got the la da pouches on them. But what if there was something, you know, 75% less than that and uh, was actually tougher. Didn't have a lot of the fancy flaps. Like this bag right here, and I'll give you a link below. This one is uh, $67. It's a 8 by 12 by 3.5 inch deep. Here's one have the logo on it. I actually put that on there. Uh, I have leather tooling uh, stuff. I've actually made in my lifetime about 100 pieces of leather goods. No, I didn't make these bags, of course. Um, I've made a lot of holsters and, you know, all sorts of little oddball things out of leather. And, uh, no, I don't have a leather sewing machine. I'd actually punch it and stitch it with wax thread. I actually have uh, leather working tools. And, uh, I tooled this one specifically, so yours won't have that logo on here. $67 for this. What's so special about this one? This is made on a, a traditionalist uh, Singer sewing machine back from the British occupation by a family of uh, leather workers. Um, I don't make a dime if you buy one of these. I don't make a single damn dime. Uh, $67. It's not cowhide. Now, I don't know if you know the difference. Uh, this is camel leather. It's ten times as dense as, uh, as uh, cowhide is, but it's very, very supple. I've actually got this stuffed full of towels, so you could actually see it in it. So you see how soft this is? This is actually a brand new bag. The only thing that I did is I tooled the leather here with saying Fuji X Photographer. Obviously, yours won't have that on there. Um, now, mine's got some spots on it. I specifically asked for one with some warty spots, and they're not actually, you know, spots. They're actually like bug marks where the camel had been bitten by you know, ginormous insects and who knows what foreign land. But this is camel uh, camel leather. It's extremely supple. Um, the uh, rivets are all hand-pounded. Uh, it's made on an old, old uh, Singer sewing machine. You can't get this sort of old-world craftsmanship. The bag like this, made out of camel, is tougher than woodpecker lips. Uh, a lot of people buy a bag and they want it to have that beat-in look. Like, you know, you've been dragging it around the globe already for 10 years. Well, this is the bag. $67, I mean, you know, that, that, that's just stupid. I mean, stupid, stupid. I'll give you the link below. I got another size over here, and uh, this one's 107 I'm about to show you. This one is a 67 uh, there are three different sizes that I recommend. He actually has, I'm not a fan of snaps, no, it's just personal preference. He actually has one with magnetic snaps. I like the old world buckles like this. And by the way, I'm gonna, I have got a second video that I've already made. So go on to the second video if you want to see the close-up details of what it looks like on the inside, because I've got the video on that. Yeah, this one, yeah, I have, uh, yeah the 8 by, uh, the 12 by 16. I'm going to show you the 12 by 16 next. This is the 12 by 16. Also, all camel leather. It's $107. He has another one he's currently out of stock on, but he's getting more in. And uh, they are uh, 10 by 14, so it's 10 inches by uh, 14 inches. So that would be a smaller size. Uh, now, you can buy dividers on eBay. It's called Far Horizon Traders. Like I said, I've been buying leather goods from him for uh, six or seven years now. I know my water buffalo bag over here um, I bought six years ago. But, you know, there, there's nothing on this to break. All the rivets are, are hand-pounded uh, copper, uh, copper compound uh, rivets, and it's camel leather, so it's soft and supple. It already looks like you've been dragging it around the world um, for uh, a few years, and, uh, you know, I love quality like this. It's sort of, for this sort of stupid price, I mean, I was at the leather store today, and it's called the Last Genuine Leather Company here in town. And uh, I was uh, buying some dye because I was out of it or I lost it. I don't know what I did. So I wanted to fill in the dye. 
here on the X. But do you know how much a bag like this just made out of stinky old cowhide costs? Like one like that. You know, the finishing on it is nicer. I mean, that bag was $580. The bag I just got done showing you, the big one, that was $107. This is $67. This is perfect. This one's three and a half inches deep. The other one is uh, five or five and a half inches deep. Go to the webpage below. But um, So not only do I know what the hell good leather goods are, I mean, I've made and hand-tooled uh, at least 100 pieces of leather goods myself, mostly holsters. I made a lot of custom holsters for people. I never appreciated why uh, expensive leather goods cost so much and the fact that I had to wet the leather, I had to shape it, pound it, dry it, punch it, stitch it, tool it, wax it. It's like, oh my god, you, you just don't just put it together and you're done. And you have to all these bloody steps on making leather goods. And I've got an appreciation for that. Uh, one of the reasons I really, you know, I don't mind doing leather tooling. I actually did this tooling today. Uh, tooling's one thing, but the leather goods, I mean, I don't have a, you have to have a real hardcore industrial um, sewing machine to actually stitch leather for obvious no-duh reasons. It's not fabric, it's friggin' leather. But anyway, ten times denser than cowhide, but it's super, it's a contradiction. It's like talking about, uh, it's like saying uh, soft rocks, for example. And this stuff is far tougher than cowhide, but it's incredibly soft. Kind of uh, contradictory, but, uh, but anyway, that's it. And... Uh, you know, this is all leather and all metal, and the rivets are hand pounded. I mean, this, this sucker ain't never coming apart. It'll outlive you. And it already has that beat in look. And for 67 bucks, I just think you're just butt stupid if you don't buy one. <laughs> Excuse my language. But I, I know a deal and high quality when I see it. Like I said, I don't make a dime. You know, if you buy one, you don't buy, I don't make a penny. Uh, I'm trying to help the guy out. It's like, I'm going to make a video about your bags because. They're just the shiznit. And he's like, yeah, that's great. And uh, I bought a couple. Of, I didn't get these for free. I had to pay for these, too, by the way. They didn't get these for free. I had to pay for them, just like you would have to pay for them. So, anyway, you know, it's all metal and all leather. This sort of quality at this sort of price does not exist anymore. It doesn't. But here's one place where it does exist. I actually asked for the warty bag. As you can see, these are all bug marks in the camel skin. I like this sort of character. It's some people call it leather marbling, or uh, it just gives it a unique personality. And this is stuff that people consider seconds. It's like, oh, this is the ugly. So yours won't look like this. Mine is ugly on purpose. I like this look, and so I purposefully asked for this. So I don't want you to think yours would be ugly like this one. And this isn't ugly. I mean, I I love that sort of stuff. Personal preference. So, anyway, these bags are the shit, the shiznits, <laughs> and the price is just stupid cheap. And uh, so, now I can't tell you on what he has on stock. I mean, literally, he's got one family that makes these, so it's not like an industrial line where you know they just roll off like you know, make another hundred. So, but I, you know, I don't work for the dude. I can't speak for anything. All I can say, and he does take PayPal on his website, and he's been in business now for I don't know how many years, but quite a few. Quite a many years, and uh, you ain't gonna find this kind of quality. Not, not at this price, you're not. Even the stuff that I saw today, the leather, and just, you know, even though it was super expensive, and you can tell it was really high quality a leather that was buffed, but for $600, I mean, it was still not as tough as this sucker is. For six times the money. No. No. Okay, thanks for watching. And check out video number two where I'll show you what's inside the the, uh, the pouch, you know, what, what it looks like inside and everything like that. So check out video number two. Okay, bye. Bye.